On this day of All Hallows Eve, let us create our friend Geralt of Rivia. Let us create the Witcher. Allow me this opportunity to wish everyone a happy Halloween. Hopefully, you guys will have a lot of fun tonight. Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So today we will take a look at how to create our friend the Witcher. Uh, the main ingredient you need to be able to pull off uh, the Witcher is the hairstyle. Everything else, you pretty much need some sort of uh, leather type armors. But if you, as long as you have the hairstyle, the rest doesn't really matter. The hairstyle you need is the half up ponytail. Uh, sadly, some of you may, will probably not like what I'll say in order to be able to get it. Let's take a look. So in order to be able to get the hairstyle, you have to open 15 flashpoint type capsules. So once you do that, you just get the hairstyle by mail and it's that simple. And sadly, you have to open 15 time capsules. If you are a free to play player, it will take a while before you can do that, but it can be done. Uh, just save up your free stabilizers and in the long run, you should be able to open 15 time capsules, but it will take a while if you are a free to play player. For the shoulders, I'm using the Laughing Knight. For the back piece, I'm using the Timiskirian Battle Suit so that we can have a nice sword in our back. The chest piece is the Warrior Spring. Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, armors that could be used to look like a sort of uh, leather armor, but I thought the Warrior of Spring was the better option. The gloves, I'm using the Apocalyptian Amazon gloves. It's uh, the, some brand new gloves we got with the Wonderverse DLC, and they, they're perfect for our Witcher friend. For the belt, I'm using the Amazonian Concur. Uh, again, that comes from the Flashpoint Time Capsule. There's a handful of other belts you could use. Uh, the Shimtar Regalia could be an option, but I much preferred the Amazonian uh, Conqueror. For the pants, I'm using the Primeval style. Uh, there's probably others that could be used, like the War Metal style. But to me, the Primeval was a better option. And for the boots, I kept things uh, simple. I went with the Druid boots. So these are the styles I went with. Uh, obviously, you could decide to use other styles. Uh, basically, all you really need is a style that kind of looks uh, good, that looks like a, a good leather armor. And uh, you got what you, you've got what you need to create a Witcher-like character. So if you were to recreate this look, and especially with the hairstyle, the hairstyle, again, is pretty much what sells the look. If you get the hairstyle, it doesn't matter if the rest is a bit different. As long as it kind of looks like uh, some sort of uh, leather armor, uh, you'll be good to go. I had a hard time though, like uh, on, on a lot of uh, images, the armor looked uh, like a brownish, like uh, especially like leather armor. But there's quite a few a few images where the armor actually looked uh, grayish. But it didn't look like a metal armor, it just looked like somehow the, the color timing was, uh, let's say, very gray. And uh, it made uh, the armor look gray, even though it, it wasn't. It didn't look like metallic armor. It looked like a, a mishmash sometimes of uh, of leather and chainmail. Sometimes, I wish I could have had a bit of chainmail on the chest piece. Uh, we have a bit of chainmail on the pants, uh, but for the chest piece, this was this was pretty much the better option in order to be able to create our friend Geralt or of Rivia. I have to admit, full disclosure. I haven't played the Witcher games. A lot of people told me that I should. I, I just never got around to it uh, so far. I saw the TV show, the first season of the TV show. I thought Henry Cavill was uh, spot on. It was, it was a great choice to play, to play the Witcher. Uh, the one nitpick I would have is that the, for a series called The Witcher, they focused a lot more on other characters than The Witcher. And from what I understand, it's going to be even worse uh, for season two. So sadly, even though the, the series is supposed to be The Witcher, it focuses a lot more on the sorceress and the little princess than it does on the, the lead character. So I have no idea how faithful uh, the, the TV show is to the game, or even uh, even better, I have no idea if it's faithful to the novels. From what I understand, uh, it, uh, everything started with uh, some Witcher novels. Then someone decided to adapt the novels into a video game, which was hugely successful. And now the video game was adapted to a TV show, which uh, from what I understand was also hugely successful. I guess one thing that really helped them to get successful was uh, casting Henry Cavill. And it was a great uh, casting choice. The guy is very charismatic and he's, very, he's a very likable guy. Even when you see him also outside of the, the TV shows or the movies that he's, uh, he's working on. Uh, when you see him in interviews, he looks like a really cool dude and a really likable guy. So um, I really understand why they cast him at the, as the Witcher, and they did good. They did a good thing. He was a great, uh, great choice. 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point, so if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are I already made a video that answered your question. And once again, I wish everyone a happy Halloween. Hopefully, you guys will have fun tonight. Uh, stay safe and enjoy your night. And that's going to be pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.